Jai Shri Swaminarayan and Jai Shri Ram. Today, I'm going to tell you a beautiful story from the Ramayan. It's about a little squirrel who helped Shri Ram. Shri Ram and his army of monkeys were preparing for war with Ravan. Shri Ram asked his army to build a bridge over the sea and work began at once on a stone bridge. The monkeys pulled out rocks and heavy stones from the mountains and carried them to the sea and then cut them into shape and began to build the bridge. Thousands of monkeys worked night and day as all this work was very difficult and it would take a very long time. Shri Ram felt happy and thought, how hard they work, their love for me makes them work like this. One day, Shri Ram saw a small brown squirrel. He was going up and down the seashore with little pebbles in his mouth, little at a time and dropping them into the sea. A great monkey was carrying a large heavy stone on his back and the squirrel came in his way. The monkey jumped back and shouted in a voice like thunder, Hey, you little thing, you're in my way. I stepped back and you're alive now, but I nearly fell. And what are you doing here? The little squirrel looked up at the great monkey. I'm sorry you nearly fell, brother monkey, but please always look where you are going. I'm helping Shri Ram build the bridge and I want to work hard for him. You, what? shouted the monkey and laughed aloud to the other monkeys. Did you hear that? The squirrel is building a bridge with his pebbles. Oh dear, oh dear. I've never heard a funnier story. The other monkeys laughed too. The squirrel, however, did not think this was funny at all. He said, look, I can't carry mountains or rocks. God only gave me a little strength. I can only carry small pebbles. My heart cries out for Sri Ram and I'll do all I can for him. The monkeys said, don't be foolish. Do you think you can help Ram? Do you think we can build a bridge with pebbles? He has a big army to help him. Go home and don't get in our way. But the squirrel wanted to help and so did not go. He carried the pebbles again from the shore to the sea. The monkeys were angry and one of them picked up the squirrel by his tail and threw him far away. The squirrel crying out the name of Sri Ram fell into his hands. Then Sri Ram held the squirrel close to him. He said to the monkeys, Do not make fun of the weak and the small. Your strength or what you do is not important. What matters is your love. This little squirrel has love in his heart. Shri Ram told the monkeys, Oh Vanaras, you are brave and strong and you are doing a wonderful job bringing all these huge rocks and stones from far and dropping them in the ocean. But did you notice that it is the tiny pebbles and stones brought by this squirrel and the sum of the other smaller creatures which are filling the small gaps left between the huge stones? Further, do you not realize that the tiny grains of sand brought by this squirrel are the ones which are, bind, are binding the whole structure and making it strong? Yet you scold the small creature and fling him away in anger. Hearing this, the Vanaraces were ashamed and bowed down their heads. Shri Ram continued, Always remember, however small, every task is equally important. A project can never be completed by the main people alone. They need the support of all, and however small, an effort should always be appreciated. Shri Ram then turned to the squirrel and said softly, My dear squirrel, I am sorry for the hurt caused to you by my army, and thank you for the help you have rendered to me. Please go and continue your work happily. Saying this, he gently stroked the back of the squirrel with his fingers and the three lines appeared where the Lord's fingers had touched it. He then put him down and said, Little one, your love touches my heart. These were the three words that passed his fingers gently over the squirrel's back and when he put him down, there were three white stripes on his back. These were the marks of Sri Ram's fingers. So, to take learning from this story, it is that no task and service to Bhagwan, however small, is unimportant. Every task should be looked upon as service to Sri Hari, and his blessings will always be with us. We should never forget that love and dedication is what matters to Lord, and not the big services and show that we make to gain or respect our status. Sri Krishna Bhagwan says that whatever we do, small or big, we offer to him. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna Bhagavan also says to Arjun, Yat Karashi Yat Asnasi Yaja Juhoshi Dadasi Yat Yat Tapasyasi Kuntaye Tat Guru Shiva Mat Arpanam. Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer or give away, and whatever austerities you perform, 
do that, O son of Gunti, as an offering to me. Keep chanting and stay blessed. Jai Shri Swaminarayan, Jai Shri Krishna and Jai Shri Ram.